what are the best places to visit in San Francisco? We'll tell you. We have no doubt many of you would love to go on a trip to the West Coast to the United States. Those of you who don't already live there, or near there, that is. The West Coast has a lot of great spots, but San Francisco is one of the most iconic spots in California by far. And as a result of that, it has plenty of places for you to go and visit, enjoy, and explore. So allow us to show you 10 that are particularly good interest to tourists. 10. Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is a California icon gracing San Francisco Bay. It is the most photographed site in the city, with the orange structure backed by blue water, or in many cases, peeking through low-lying cloud. At night, the floodlit structure is equally striking. Connecting San Francisco with Marin County and other districts further north, the Golden Gate Bridge was, at one time, designated the greatest man-made site in the United States by the U.S. Travel Service. It opened on May 28, 1937. The bridge took four years to build and, at the time of its completion, was the longest suspension bridge in the world, measuring approximately two miles in length. If you want to drive over the Golden Gate Bridge, the road is U.S. Highway 101, or SR1, and walkways on either side of the bridge are open to pedestrians and cyclists. The walk begins at the start of the bridge, accessible from the Presidio shuttle, and ends with a viewpoint in Marin County. It's a classic spot, and isn't that the kind of place you want to visit on such a trip? 9. Alcatraz The historic and notorious Alcatraz Penitentiary, located on Alcatraz Island in San Francisco Bay, is one of America's most infamous prisons. It operated for almost 30 years, closing in 1963 and reopening as a tourist attraction in 1973. Some of America's most well-known criminals were inmates here, including Al Capone and The Birdman, who would later form the basis for the fictional movie The Birdman of Alcatraz. You can take a ferry over to the island and tour the site while listening to an exceptional audio recording that offers a glimpse into life in the prison, rather than just an historical list of facts. The narration is even voiced by former inmates and guards of Alcatraz. While most people come for the history or the novelty of seeing a former prison, the island is now a prominent area for nesting seabirds. Oh well, at least it serves a purpose, right? 8. Fisherman's Wharf Fisherman's Wharf is one of San Francisco's most popular tourist areas. If this is your first visit to the city and you only have a day or two to see the sights, Fisherman's Wharf is one of the best places to visit. This old section, once the Little Italy of San Francisco, is known for its shops, restaurants, and beautiful settings along the waterfront. It's a fun place to stroll around and get a taste for the city. From here, you can also take a sightseeing cruise for spectacular views of the city or organize a fishing charter. The docks by Pier 39 are some of the best areas in the city to see sea lions. Some of the main attractions in the area are Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, Musée Mécanique, Ripley's Believe It or Not, and Girardelli Square. Restored 19th and 20th century ships line the waterfront at the Hyde Street Pier, which is now the San Francisco Maritime National Historic Park. This is a place you'll want to explore in depth, so go do so. 7. Cable Cars Cable cars were introduced in 1873 to help locals contend with the many hills that the city is built on. Today, the few remaining cable cars offer tourists a great way to explore the city in historic fashion. Since 1964, these tram-like vehicles have had the unique distinction of being the only public transport system to be declared an historic monument. The Powell Mason and Powell Hyde are the most scenic routes. The cable cars will also get you to the major tourist attractions such as Fisherman's Wharf, Girardelli Square, the Ferry Building, Knob Hill, and Lombard Street. Tickets can be purchased on board the cable car, or if you are planning on more than a couple of rides or are going to be sightseeing for a few days, consider buying a pass. 6. Golden Gate Park Golden Gate Park, home to gardens and museums, is a fabulous green space in the heart of San Francisco often considered the lungs of the city. Before development began in 1871, this was an era of arid dunes. Today, the park has a network of walking trails and cycling paths, more than 5,000 different kinds of plants and dozens of species of trees, several lakes, bridle paths, and a buffalo paddock. The main attractions include the De Young Museum, the California Academy of Sciences Museum with Steinhardt Aquarium, the Japanese Tea Garden, 
and the San Francisco Botanical Garden. Golden Gate Park is one of those places that can just as easily take up a couple of hours as a couple of days. Bike rentals are available, and this can be a great way to explore the park, rather than trying to do everything on foot. Alternatively, try an organized 2.5-hour Segway tour with a local guide and hit all the major highlights. 5. Chinatown You may have been to Chinatown in other cities, but San Francisco's Chinatown is a whole other realm. It is both the largest Chinatown outside of Asia and the oldest of its kind in North America. Almost completely destroyed in the 1906 earthquake, Chinatown was rebuilt entirely in the Chinese style and was soon even more attractive than before the disaster. Now, with its temples, theaters, workshop, small businesses, stores, antique and souvenir shops, tea houses, and traditional pharmacies, visiting Chinatown has become one of the top things to do in San Francisco. If you are traveling through San Francisco during an important Chinese holiday or event, you can expect to see an elaborate celebration. Chinese New Year celebrations are often considered the best in North America. The main street in Chinatown for tourists is Grant Avenue, with the Chinatown Gateway at the Grant Avenue and Bush Street. 4. Legion of Honor An impressive neoclassical Beaux Arts building in an amazing setting. The California Palace of the Legion of Honor is San Francisco's most exquisite museum. The Legion of Honor was the gift of the social elite, philanthropist, and patron of the arts, Alma de Bretville Spreckles. Because of her love for all things Parisian, the museum was designed as a replica of the Palais de la Légion d'Honneur in Paris. The Legion of Honor Museum has a superb collection of European decorative arts, sculpture, and paintings along with antiquities from the Mediterranean and Near East. Admission to this museum also gives you same-day admission to the De Young Museum. The museum is in Lincoln Park, a gorgeous green space with a golf course and coastal woodlands and a wonderful place for a leisurely walk. Just outside the museum, visitors may follow the path along Lincoln Highway, which boasts spectacular ocean vistas and perfect outlooks onto the Golden Gate Bridge. 3. The Palace of Fine Arts the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco is the last remaining structure from the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, this classical-looking building is beautifully situated on a lagoon that reflects the mirror image on the surface of the calm water, while ducks and geese drift by. The palace has been restored, along with the grounds, and today hosts art exhibitions and performances. The Palace of Fine Arts Theatre seats approximately 1,000 patrons. 2. California Academy of Sciences The California Academy of Sciences in Golden State Park is an architectural marvel as well as a multifaceted museum. This state-of-the-art green building with a sustainable design has a 2.5-acre living roof covered with native plants and even rolling hills to match the natural surroundings. The roof also has solar panels to generate electricity and the soil acts as natural insulation. The walls are largely made of glass, allowing for natural light. Inside is an incredible natural history museum, planetarium, aquarium, rainforest, and more. The Steinhardt Aquarium includes some 38,000 living specimens on a 25-foot deep coral reef. The Osher Rainforest is four stories high and houses animals and amphibians in a fantastic layout. You can descend in a glass elevator to the deepest depths and look up through an acrylic tunnel to see fish swimming overhead in the flooded forest. The Kimball Natural History Museum has skeletons of a T-Rex and blue whale, along with an array of interesting exhibits. 1. Twin Peaks These two uninhabited hills, more than 900 feet high, have one of the finest views out over the city and bay. Access is easy. You can drive to the North Peak parking area, park your car, and soak up the amazing vista. For those looking for a bit of activity, take a hike along trails over the North and South Peaks. This is some of the best hiking in San Francisco. While up here, you may be forgiven for thinking these are the highest of San Francisco's 43 hills. However, that lofty distinction belongs to Mount Davidson, which is 33 feet higher. The Twin Peaks are the only hills in San Francisco not to have been built over and remain in their original state. So, what do you think? What do you think of this look at the sites of San Francisco and what you might be able to enjoy there if you go? Which of these spots definitely caught your interest? 
Have you honestly been to some of these spots before? If you're familiar with San Fran, what places would you recommend to people who have never gone before? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.